Telling us that they uh, grabbed some some candy for Halloween at, while they were out at lunch today, and you know, spent a good amount on a bag of candy. Mm -hmm. So the you got to keep that in the mind. The hardest part about that getting the bag that early is you have to not eat it <laughs> till yeah. Halloween. Yeah, for even though it's the fancy name brand That's stuff, tough. it's pricey yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully Halloween is festive feeling around here. It can be, you know, like last year where it was super cold or it can be you know, 80, 90 degrees some years. But right now we've got a cold front that we're keeping tabs on. This front is up moving toward the Red River Valley. It's 81 in Texarkana, 74 in Amarillo. Most of the state is in the 90s out ahead of this front. A few showers showing up on the leading edge of it. We're not going to see a ton of rain out of this as it comes in. And we've been talking about this being a back door cold front, meaning it's coming in from the east to northeast. And what is interesting about that is for us, we are going to still be under the influence. See how these wind contours we will be under the influence of the Gulf of Mexico somewhat, meaning that the humidity doesn't take a huge dive, whereas up in Houston, their winds coming in from, you know, land locations are going to be a lot drier, a lot colder overnight because of that, while we retain some of the moisture here and it stays that way will be winds out of the east to northeast through Thursday, Friday and even through the weekend under a blend of sun and clouds. It's back to the 80s for highs on Friday and then over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, middle 80s. It'll be a little bit humid and a small chance for an isolated shower over the weekend. So the humidity again, it does drop a little bit Wednesday, Thursday, but Friday and into the weekend we start to get it back. So it's not going to be sweltering like summertime, but it's not going to be crisp feeling either. If you have any weekend plans the next two days, I think we stay sub 80. It will be breezy overnight lows in the 60s. Then we bounce back into the low 70s overnight for Saturday night, Sunday morning and then Sunday night, Monday morning with average high temperatures, you know, in the mid 80s. That's about where we're going to be over the weekend. Tropics still two areas of interest, one near Central America that will likely stay that location and then invest 94 L that one's still got a 50% chance to develop, but high pressure is looking like it's going to, you know, do its thing and keep it from turning to the north. A lot of the guidance fizzles this out by the time it approaches Cuba. And as we start getting later into October, these right here, these lines represent the only three hurricane strikes that have ever happened in October in Texas records back to 1850. One of those, though, was right through the Baffin Bay tomorrow, the 16th of October back in 1912, and that was a category two hurricane. That's the latest on record. A hurricane has hit Texas 68 tonight, mainly clear and mild tomorrow. The winds pick up behind this front, some gusts of around 35 miles per hour, 78, the high temperature that'll be around midday on the water, elevated rip current risk and a small craft advisory bays will be rough. It will not be a great day on area waters stays breezy and seasonally cool through Friday back to the 80s only an isolated shower into the weekend and a little bit more humidity. So Jazz Fest should be OK. Not a washout type of rain chance there. And, you know, highs not out of control. No, staying in the mid 80s. You can handle it. Yeah, absolutely. We'll happily take it. Alan, thank you. Slow to come here on three news at five.